beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-December right through to mid-January 2023. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations, I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon, I will never ask you for your credit card details, I will never ask for personal details and I will also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them, it is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Leo, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. But just to let you know, your 11th house of hopes and wishes is starred at this time. So um, I would really connect to the law of attraction because this is when it will be most strongest uh, throughout the year for you in particular. Now the 11th house also connects to networking, social circles, going out, having fun, and also the internet. So this is a prime time for you to meet love, okay? So uh, definitely um, very promising start to your reading. Let's see what else is coming for you. Now your sixth house of routine, work, duty, health, and things like that is also connected for you. So um, at the end of the month, you may feel a little bit more like focusing on your healthcare routines, um, building healthier eating habits, sleeping, and exercise habits as well. Um, so uh, definitely, um, you'll be focusing a little bit more on the humdrum stuff at the end of the month, but the beginning of the month, um, right through to around about the 20th of December, that's when you will start to focus um, on, well, you'll be focusing on the law of attraction. Thoughts are becoming things. So it is very important for you to be aware um, that you have a lot of personal power uh, this month in particular. Now I'm going to get your first card there as well. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, but I'm just going to uh, get your cards first and do a, the rest of the Celtic cross after um, I have finished up with the overall arching energy. Now your first card, the protagonist energy is the heart. You have a beautiful, loving, loyal heart, my beautiful Leo, and you are looking for a love that is unique, that is special, that has something that other people perhaps have not stirred within you. You're looking for that spark. So the heart indicates right now you're in the law of attraction. You are attracting what your heart desires. So this is a very positive uh, card for you because it's number 24, and when you reduce it, two plus four is six, which is a lover's card. So you are in a vibration of attracting uh, new love into your life. Now, because your starting card is a star, you have been going through a lot of personal development work. You have been doing a lot of healing and working out what it is you want uh, in love and what it is you certainly do not want. But you're in a new phase of life where you're open to accepting love because we can want love as much as we want, but if we're not in the vibration of being open to it, then we won't attract it. So we have to do the shadow side, you know, go through personal development. We have to really look at the dark side of ourselves in order to resolve issues within uh, ourselves of either previous relationships or, uh, you know, ancestral wounding or childhood wounding or experiences we've had like being bullied and things like that. So we have to really go through the shadow work before we can develop into opening ourselves up to love okay so you are definitely in that stage of attracting love and I definitely feel that there is um well I see you meeting somebody in a group uh setting and uh there's an invitation I see an invitation that you're going to be offered and um what I see for you is that where you meet this person I feel like um, it's in a crowd of people, but they actually, this new person, this love that comes in for you, they actually give you a gift, like a keepsake of the event that you either meet at or your first meeting. So for example, if you're at like, um, I don't know, if you're at a, an office party, for example, or you're at an event where there's a celebration and they pop a champagne bottle, uh, the cork comes off, that person, this new love will actually pick up the cork bottle and, or, or the cork actually from the bottle and give it to you as a small little keepsake 
of the event, of the first meeting between you both. I mean, it could even be that they give you a, a ticket stub or they give you um, like, I don't know, something that's relevant to the event. So if you've already been to an event, for example, my beautiful Leo, and there's lots of people that you're interested in or you vibed with or flirted with, um, then uh, the person who gave you like a little keepsake, like here, you can have that, or this is a little gift for you, um, and it's connected to the event, that's the person that there is going to be a very strong romantic development with that person, okay? Now your resistance card is the clover. So you may have felt, because it's in the resistance position, it's like you got it in the reverse, you may have felt like you've been very unlucky in love. You may have been in love before and uh, there was um, a difficult ending, some sort of breakup or separation that led to a lot of disappointment and feelings of heartbreak or feeling let down in love. And that's probably why you've got the star energy there, which is a lot of healing. But your luck is about to change in love, okay? Over the next four to five weeks, the energy is shifting for you. Jupiter is, of course, direct right up until May 2023. So that means there's a lot of positive sort of positive action when it comes to things working out in your favor. Also, we have some favorable energy from Venus. So that means, you know, this is a prime time right up until May next year for new love to develop and prosper and blossom. OK, so um, it is number two and number six, as you can see here as well. We've got a number six there at the bottom. So that indicates, you know, balance, harmony, love. And uh, number two is the high priestess energy. So I feel that intuitively you will know who this person is when you first meet them. There's just something about them that is really different. This person is uh, very, it's interesting, this person is very outgoing and very, um, they have a lot of charisma, but at the same time, when it comes to love, they're very private. They are very protective over love as well. Um, now, they are giving me just a little something for you. Please don't shoot the messenger. Um, what they're giving me is that sometimes you overgive in love, my beautiful Leo. So when it comes to meeting someone for the first time, of course, you give your whole heart, soul, and your devotion to the person that you care about, um, you know, you're very good with um, that when it comes to friends as well. You're very loyal and very, you know, you go to the ends of the earth for that person. Uh, not everybody gets into your inner circle, but the ones you let in, they are your soul tribe and you do, you would do anything for those people, including, you know, the love of your life. Uh, it's important to remember balance, okay? If you notice that um, you are always giving um, and uh, you're not receiving in the same way, then of course, remember reciprocity because sometimes because you're so loving and have such a beautiful warm loyal heart um, that is so giving and so generous uh, sometimes you just don't realize that you're actually just bestowing all your love and affection upon a person and it just feels good but you gotta let that person come to you as well allow that person to love you also okay so just be mindful of that because whenever we put someone on a pedestal uh, we inadvertently by accident put them above ourselves uh, you're looking up if you put someone on a pedestal um, and of course when we first meet somebody and those wonderful energies of love are flowing um, we feel like we've met the best person since sliced bread uh, and of course there is that wonderful honeymoon period but just remember reciprocity okay as you go into this one I feel like this person is um, someone who uh, has been through a similar experience as you in the past um, because when I, when I touch the heart I see a plaster on it okay um, so because I'm scrying in the water at the same time as doing your reading so I feel like there is some wounding here or you've been marked by love before and it's made you feel a little bit cautious but you've grown in your confidence you've done a lot of personal work you've done a lot of self-development you're learning to love yourself and therefore you've got that cup of love ready to accept someone else's love to let them in so I feel like there's a wonderful exchange here for you now the outcome energy this is the outcome pile uh, we've got the park now the park indicates a social setting okay it could be a party event it could be a meeting it could be uh, you know a crowd or networking it could even be a retreat so I feel like um, th there is an opportunity for you to meet uh, someone at a social gathering in the next four to five weeks um, now this there may be an invitation. I mean, I feel like you're going to get that invitation and there is a real potential for you to meet that new love at that event. But if you decide not to go to that event, 
then you know the universe will try to orchestrate another meeting for you but it may not be obviously four to five uh, weeks uh, it may be a little bit longer so just be mindful any invitations that you get or any you know if anyone says after work you know fancy going for a quick drink Leo you know you may go there and there may be someone at that bar or whatever um, that is there so watch out for invitations because um, I feel like there is an invitation that leads you to this person okay I see you in a group setting where um, there's lots of people but I feel like there's like a, a side table or bar or something with things on it and it's almost like you take yourself out of the crowd setting for a moment and you go to the to the sideline and this person is there and you strike up a conversation and at some point uh, during the event this person says oh here you you take that that's a little gift for you I mean it could literally be as I said a ticket stub or um, you know if you pull a cracker things like that and there's like a little gift there they and if they want it they go here you know what you keep it as a little keepsake so it, there's something in that so please be mindful of that also now my guys are pointing to number 20 number 20 is the judgment card energy so sometimes during this period December into January it's prime time for exes to try and reach out I do feel like there is someone here that perhaps you've tried to phase out of your mind and out of your life um, there is the potential for this person to reach out so watch out for that I don't feel like you want reconciliation with this person I feel like you are looking for new um, you're looking for stability you're looking for um, someone who's emotionally available my guys just said someone who's emotionally available and whilst the per person from the past did love you I feel like they were not open to love you in the way that you deserve to be loved that that's how I, I feel it the, the, that person from the past does have and did have a lot of feelings for you but I feel like they're not at a level that you deserve in terms of love at this present time okay so if you do want to reconcile with somebody I mean there is a potential there that you you can do it I'm not saying you can't but um I would just say remember why you separated in the first place and you know make sure this person shows you with action not just with words that they have changed because everyone's open to changing okay the star energy can indicate that you get to heal that with someone from the past but this is a singles love reading so I just want you to be aware that this person uh, their energy is circling around you they're thinking about you for sure so they could reach out and that could lead um, to you being tempted to either reunite with that person or you know get you thinking about that person from the past when we start thinking about the past we change the vibration that we're in when we're looking forward to new we're always looking forward and changing the vibration saying to the universe I'm open to new love but then you know your ex can normally feel that shift that change have you ever noticed that when you're trying to move on or when you've just started talking to somebody new your ex surfaces it's because the vibrational shift they can feel it they, they that you are detaching from them similarly um, when you are um, you know thinking about that person from the past even if they just messaged and said hi and you're like you know what delete I'm not gonna message them but they start you start thinking about the past and what could have should have would have happened or conversations that you had that made you feel sad or happy you change the vibration you're connecting to a past energy so therefore the universe is saying oh you're not ready for new so just be mindful thoughts become things it's so important now we've also got the lily here now this is an energy of creativity uh, it's also uh, an energy of maturity and you know you're older and wiser so I really feel uh, with the lily as well this indicates that there is someone here this new person that's coming on in it will be a long lovely um, you know pace in terms of romance this person will uh, be very romantic for you um, and you vice versa um, also I feel like this person could be a little bit older than you it doesn't have to be an age but in terms of maturity this person this new person knows what they want okay and I feel like there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person okay a lot of um, sparks shall we say so really hot and heavy uh, connection between you and a person but I feel like you've learnt not to go too quickly in relationships to get to know the person to you know let it slowly evolve in a very organic way and that's what I feel it will as well now for some of you it may be a creative event that you meet this person it doesn't have to be but I just feel there's a social setting it could even be a communal like community event or it could be like a quick drink after work and there's groups of people I just get this energy that you meet this person this new person in a crowd or in a setting of uh, lots of different people 
Now, of course, uh, your 11th house is starred, so it doesn't mean you can't meet this person on internet dating, if that's more your bag, of course. Uh, but they were just showing me that uh, the first time you meet this person, they give you like some sort of token of um, remembrance from the event or wherever you meet, okay? So even like if you go to a restaurant, it could be that um, there's like matches that are connected to the restaurant and uh, they give them to you as a keepsake. So just watch out for that, okay? Now I'm just gonna do a Celtic cross for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of regarding singles love? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Whoa, okay. Um, can you please show them for their singles love? What is coming towards them in the next four to five weeks? What do they need to be aware of? Okay, well, your love situation is definitely changing. That is for sure. Um, and I see someone coming on in for you. Someone who's committed, someone who's loyal, someone who's a very strong earth element um, there. Could be um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, it doesn't have to be like sun, moon or rising but it can be that they've got strong placements in those areas. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So the start of something new happening here for you. Now, I do see that perhaps you've taken yourself out of the dating game or you've been withdrawn from dating for a while or a little bit guarded, okay? Uh, but I feel like you've been focusing on other things like perhaps your finances um, or your job or if you're retired, you've been focusing on, you know, um, personal development, spirituality and learning to love and accept yourself, which is really holding you in good stead to meet this new person because we tend to meet people in a similar vibe as ourselves okay so I feel like this person um, has gone through a similar journey uh, as you have now this is your starting card this is the heart of the matter okay now I'm getting two energies here my beautiful Leo uh, one is that you've been in a period of healing and also a period of clarity seeing seeing what you want, um, going through perhaps trust issues. You've been uh, dissolving those and recognizing that not everybody is going to uh, hurt you or uh, you know the relationship is not going to go in the same way that perhaps a previous relationship went. Or if, for example, you witnessed, um, because we all have to look back to our first foundation of what it means to love. And that would be your parents or guardians, okay? So we look at those structures and although we don't want to emulate those uh, patterns or structures, they can influence how we operate in love. So if you had parents who divorced, you may be a little bit hesitant to have deep commitment. Doesn't mean you don't want it, doesn't mean you can't have it, but it can mean that um, you may be a little bit guarded or you look at love in a different way. Same with if uh, you know you witnessed parents cheating or you know leaving or absent. Um, you know there are influences that can occur um, as we grow older and we start to recognize how those situations influenced our um, acceptance or our openness to love and even when you're in a relationship you can notice patterns there as well so I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing and a lot of getting clarity on who you are where you've come from your journey to date regarding love and what it is you want because the star card is far-sightedness to see for the future also it's kind of perfect that you got this card as your starting card because 11th house is hopes and wishes and you are getting the star card, which is all about hopes and wishes. It is about you having a dream come true. So I would say really focus on what it is you want. Be in the state of the law of attraction because of your 11th house and you know thoughts become things. So don't focus on the things you don't want. Because if you say to somebody or you, you, know, you say to the universe, I don't want someone who lies. I don't want someone who cheats on me. I don't want, of course, that's a given. You don't want those things. Don't focus on those things because, because the, the universe only hears lies, cheats. You know, they, they just get the energy from what you're putting into that sentence. There's a different way of saying things and the tone, okay? So, you know, really focus on, you know, I want someone who's loving, who's attentive, who's emotionally available, who's wanting, you know, a long-term relationship, who's wanting to see where things go, who's passionate, who's kind. You know, all those words and that sentence have energy and emotion attached to it. But when we say, I don't want this, I don't want this, and I don't want this, the energy is different because you know how you feel about lies. You know how you feel about um, cheating. You know how you feel about those things and we attach an energy to it. A lot of people, they don't quite understand the law of attraction and how words 
and energy is so important okay so uh, i'm just going to describe that there for you as well so the star energy also indicates that there is a better future to look forward to when it comes to your dating life so i definitely see that there is someone new on the horizon for you you've got a knight of pentacles and you've got an ace of pentacles the start of something um, that will lead somewhere it's an opportunity for you to have a lot of potential in a relationship with a new person um, also the star energy i'm just getting this it's the second energy i'm getting from this card and you know don't shoot the messenger when i say this but what i'm getting is um naturally you are very magnetic leo okay you're just born with it some people are born with it some people are not leo you just got it you don't know what it is even yourself there's this certain little magic about you okay no matter what you look like no matter who you are you've just got that you know that je ne sais quoi about you and you tend to um when you are happy and in your element you tend to outshine a lot of people and you don't mean to you're just being your wonderful self but you also give people permission to join you in that light when you are vibing at a high vibration people love when leo is shining that wonderful light it gives everyone else around them uh, permission to shine with you but people who are insecure tend to feel like you outshine them okay so you may have dated people in the past or connected to people in the past who felt insecure by your side or they felt like you know they couldn't match your vibration. So they were obviously not meant for you. Um, don't ever dull your shine for anybody. I just want you to be aware of that because I feel like you've had a real test of faith when it comes to love. And I feel like you've been very confused as to why love has not been working for you because you have such a beautiful heart. You're such an honest, open person. I mean, look at that, Queen of Swords, honest as attack. Someone who is very, you know, um, you're very independent as well. And uh, don't ever let anyone try to change that about you either because the right person is going to love you exactly the way you are so just be mindful of that but i would say um when this new person they see you for the first time it's 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 magnetic it's love this person they only have eyes for you as soon as they see you okay and as you can see with this star card it's very interesting um it's like she's got like an egg there okay uh, it's, it's an egg that's got like a blossom and it's got a red and white flower in it, okay? Eggs tend to represent new, new life, new energy, new love. So I feel like this is the start of something new. You've done a lot of healing, you've done a lot of personal growth work and you're ready. Um, now, what is crossing you? There's been no one really that you felt has the potential to want to settle down with you. you. I mean, you don't want to settle down with any of these people around you. You've noticed that there's no one in your vicinity that really gives you that spark. There's no one that's really attracted you in the way that makes you think, oh, they're a potential. I definitely want to get invested in that. So I feel like um, you've perhaps felt that love has just not been working for you. So you've taken yourself out of the dating game, as I said, for a while. You've withdrawn for a little while because you've just been fed up with the way that things have been going. And you've been in a deep period of healing anyway and learning to um, love yourself fully and learning more about yourself as well. So, you know, this waiting period, because you've had you've got the hangman there, um, it's not been wasted. It's an opportunity for you to value yourself highly so that when another person comes in uh, that is a potential love suitor or a love mate um, that you teach them by the way that you uh, hold yourself the way that you you know care have self-care routines and care about yourself you actually teach that person to respect you in the way that you want to be respected okay so the Knight of Pentacles, though, does indicate that there is someone coming on in that will offer a high-level commitment relationship. This is someone who is really honest, someone who's loyal, someone who's very practical. doesn't mean they're not romantic. It means that they are serious about meeting love, and they're serious about wanting to settle down. They're not going to lead you down the garden path, shall we say. So um, I feel it's been crossing you. Uh, because a crossing card basically means you've been having trouble with that area. You've been having trouble with, um, you know, Finding someone that you want to commit to, uh, that gives that certain spark, that's something different, that's something unique. But also, you found it difficult to find someone who, um, their word is their bond, that you can trust, who actually wants to commit, um, you know, traditional relationship. I see this person, um, you know, really wanting a traditional, faithful relationship. 
and this person is coming your way um, and they are new okay because sometimes I pick up a vibe that there's like an ex hanging around and I definitely feel like that person that ex will reach out um, but I feel like there's no connection there anymore okay uh, I feel like you are you're wanting new because I feel like the death card and the, the star card and you've got a lot of major arcana cards in your reading um, I feel like this is like the big deal this is the big one this is the new love that's coming on in the big love story that perhaps you've been uh trying to manifest for a while uh also i want to say it doesn't matter your age i don't care how how old you are whether you're 105 or whether you are 23 doesn't matter the age if your heart is on the vibration of wanting to be open to love and you're manifesting new love and you're saying to the universe i'm ready then love is headed in your direction, okay? Um, now, what is below you? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, a lot of baggage. You feel that love perhaps has been a very difficult experience for you and you're really ready for a new beginning. Also, I feel you have been healing previous baggage and not just from exes, but also like, as I said, childhood wounding or experiences that you've had. For example, if you've been bullied when you were younger, you know, that may have influenced you in a certain way and made you feel about yourself in a certain way even if you were um you know even if you've changed yourself in a certain look or you know you feel much better about yourself now as soon as you get into a relationship where you have to be vulnerable and open and let that person see all the rawness that is uh, you know within you uh, to see you at your worst and at your best sometimes those insecurities can actually raise their ugly heads and make us feel like um, we want to shut down or um, we feel too vulnerable so we feel exposed so I feel like you've been really working through those things in order to open yourself up as you can see time we got a little death symbol right there it's time things change you've really been doing a lot of self-reflection she's literally looking in the mirror and you know that your love life deserves to be transformed and you deserve love that is committed and this person is coming on in for you um and in four to five weeks i feel like there's an event here as i said that you get invited to where you have the potential to meet this person um and the ten of wands indicates you know all everything from the past it's just dead and gone it's over okay it just seems to have gone nowhere as you can see uh, ten of wands represents all the baggage that has gone before and the roots they're dead they're not connected to anything there was no stability or there is no stability there um and you know it's just the things are crumbling away now of course as i said if you really want to heal something with someone from the past then of course you can and i will do a reading regarding that um but this is for singles so i feel like you know you are ready for new deep down you're saying everything in the past is over you're telling the universe um uh, that you know you're ready for new you're you're it's almost like you're releasing excess you're um you you know, there's like endings that are clearing away for new beginnings and also i feel um you're saying goodbye to emotions or relationships and situations that have you know no place in your life anymore that are long gone that have expired um also with the ten of wands um you've had a lot of strength or you you have a lot of strength you've had a very difficult journey when it comes to love and um the ten of wands tends to indicate how strong you truly are and that you are ready for a love that you truly deserve now that will be easier um i mean all relationships they take work but if you find that um no matter how much effort you're putting into a relationship and it's never working it's just the universe saying it's not meant for you what is meant for you will never pass you by um also with the ten of wands since you've been single you know there may be periods where you felt a lot of anxiety and wondered uh, will love get easier will you find love or is it over for you is that the end is there no love perhaps there's nobody coming that's not the truth okay the truth is there is someone coming for you there's a wonderful new relationship on the cards for you and you've you've waited a long time for this but um, don't give up because your love life is transforming. There are new doors opening for you when it comes to love. Now, in the past, we've got the hanged person, the hanged woman there. Uh, this is a wonderful deck, the uh, Dream Keepers Tarot there um, by Liz Houston. And um, the hangman is about seeing life from a new perspective, that everybody you connected to in the past, whether it was love or whether it was friendship, whatever it was, each person teaches us something. Even, you know, if you were in a karmic relationship, or in a relationship that really damaged you it taught you something it taught you to heal yourself it taught you to be stronger and it taught you to value you 
value yourself in a way where you start to teach other people how to value you, okay? Um, if someone kept, kept coming in and out of your life, very transient, and you know they were sort of using uh, intimacy as an excuse, as for love, they were just coming in for you know the goodies, shall we say. Um, each time you allowed that person to come back, you taught that person that it was okay to just come and go as they pleased. Uh, you know, I get it, first time, second time, I've even been there myself, you know, it took a while for me to wake up and say, hey, you know, I realize here that I'm enabling this behavior by keep letting this person back. So it's something that you're learning and you're learning to value and see what it is that you do want and what you certainly do not want. So with this hanged uh, man kind of energy or hanged woman energy, this is about you, um, you know, seeing life and love through a new perspective. Also, it indicates that you're in a transition stage because hangman is transcendence. It's, an, it's a transition stage where you're in the in-between worlds, the in-between of learning lessons in love and in between about to meet the person you're meant to be with a soulmate okay so i feel like uh, you've withdrawn or you went it's almost like you felt in limbo looking for love and you felt like it's never going to happen for you but that is not the case also with the hanged um woman hanged man there is an indication here of you sacrifice a lot for love and sometimes you're that wonderful overgiver but remember to expect in return um now expectation is probably the wrong word because when we expect we never really truly get uh, don't attach anything to expectation um, visualization and manifestation of course but then just let it go um, what I mean more is that not to put someone on a pedestal and if you feel someone is stepping back and they're not giving a reason for stepping back then just also take a step back because you change the dynamics if, if a person takes a step back because they're uncertain and, you know, sometimes we all get to that space where we're like, oh, this is a big deal. You know, I let me just think about this. I'm a Scorpio. So Scorpios even and, I, you know, I probably shouldn't expose Scorpios, uh, but this is from me, my point of view. Um, when I'm like deeply in love and when I've been, in, you know, at the beginning of my twin flame journey, for example, my first indication was to step back even though I loved him, I adored him. My, I was like, oh, but this, you know, I'm going to go deep here. I'm going to be very vulnerable with this person. This person has a real potential to hurt me because I'm in love. So I felt a lot of caution because of previous experiences. And I took a step back. Didn't mean I didn't want to be with that person. Didn't mean I wasn't going to invest in the relationship or make an effort for that person. What it meant was self-protective mode kicked in and I took a step back. And the other person was standing there wondering what the hell, you know, I've stepped back. So they were like, uh, are they not interested? Are they interested? What's going on? And um, he actually stepped back too. And that was a perfect thing to do because it made me go, okay, now we both stepped back, a little bit of a breathing space, and then we both came back together. Okay, but if you know, if someone steps back and you're chasing to find out why they're stepping back, they're going to step back more because they haven't had the space or the time to think. And it, um, my point is, allow the relationship to organically breathe. Okay, and I feel like you've learned that in um, your experiences in love. Um, so I feel um, it's also so important. The hanged woman has like a spider's web there because spider's webs tend to be about wish fulfillment catching dreams you know dream catchers are actually modeled on spider's webs so this may be a sign for you to look out for in the next four to five weeks either a spider's web or you know a, a dream catcher that looks like a spider's web which most of them do uh, so look out for that as a symbol um to let you know that you're about to meet somebody i mean there could even be like a spider's web at this event um, or even a picture of one or a, a dream catcher or a picture of one at this event where you meet this person. So uh, keep an eye out. These images, they may not mean anything in the moment, but in four to five weeks time, you're like, whoa, I just saw that. And it lets you know, because um, it's almost like your guides are going to guide you to these images so that you know that this reading is for you. Um, now, what is above you? We've got the Queen of Swords. So honesty, it's very important. Truth. And being direct, being honest about what you want. Um, but when you've got the Queen of Swords, this indicates that you are very independent. I see whatever this event is that you go to, I feel like you go alone. 
okay? So it could be um, that you're invited. Uh, I mean, your friends could invite you to an event, but you, you go there alone and you meet them there. OK, so that's what I'm seeing um, with this event. But the Queen of Swords is someone who's super independent. And because you have been very self-sufficient, because you've been on your own for a while, you may have, you know, withdrawn from love or stop looking for love because you feel like, you know what, it's probably not going to happen for me. So I'm just going to just do me. And uh, it is going to happen for you. But the Queen of Swords indicates that you may be a little bit guarded. Or when you meet this person, it's not that you're going to come across detached or cold. Um, I feel like there is a little bit of self-defense going on there. That's why I felt this energy of you stepping back. So when you first meet this person and they are going to open up a conversation with you and they're going to um, give you that little token of affection and uh, remembrance from this event, I feel like it's not that you freeze. It's like perhaps you don't know what to say or you you just take a step back from this person uh, i just feel a little bit of guardedness okay so i'm just going to pull a card on the queen of swords just to see um what that is about for you because that's the potential i feel like you're actually going to meet this person there's going to be a conversation knight of wands okay so some of you may wonder if this person is a player okay and that's why you're feeling a little bit guarded but this person is actually wanting to invest. We've got Ace of Pentacles and we've got Knight of Pentacles. So they're actually showing up as a Knight of Pentacles, but you may be a little bit wary, feeling that perhaps, you know, they're just flirting with you and that they're going to try and lead you down the garden path, that sort of energy, that they're going to be here today, gone tomorrow. You know, you may even feel like this person is a potential fling at first, and there's nothing wrong with having a fling if that's what you want, but if you're looking for something deeper, looking for something a little bit long-term, which I feel from your reading you are, um, Just give this person a chance, is what I say, because I feel like you don't want to jump to conclusions that this person, because this person, I feel like they're very attractive. I feel uh, just like you, my beautiful Leo. Um, I feel like they, um, you know, they do have a lot of attention and their eyes are only for you. They only see you, even though they have a lot of attention. I feel they're not looking at them. They're looking at you. OK, so I just want you to be aware of that with that Knight of Wands. Um, so that's why you may be a little bit guarded at first. And this may be because you've either been burnt by a player in the past or you felt um, that this person because. You know, when you see people who are like and this is awful, but, you know, sometimes you see people who uh, have a lot of attention or they're like super confident and you instantly sometimes may judge a book by its cover and think, OK, that person's got a lot of attention. Why would they be looking at me? Well, they are looking at you, Leo. So don't be thinking that. Um, I just want you to be aware of that. Uh, give this person a chance because I feel like this person wants to win you over and. Um, there's a spark between you both. OK, and this person is very exciting to be with. And I feel like you'd miss out if you you didn't give this person a chance. Um, now, in the near future, we got the death card. So this indicates more transition, more change. Um, you're going through a transformation. You've been going through a bit of a rite of passage as you evolve. Um, you're going to make progress in love, basically. Uh, the death card symbolizes a new door opening, a new beginning, a new chapter in your love life. And you're shedding the old. So I really feel like you are ready for new. As you can see, there's like a bride there. So I feel like um, perhaps some of you may have felt like you would have married a past person. OK, uh, so just watch out for that. That past person may reach out for you. Um, but I feel like you're transforming the way you look at that relationship in order to shed it because we've got a snake there. Uh, snakes tend to represent shedding old skin and being revitalized, refreshed and renewed. So I definitely get this energy of you, um, you know, shedding old skin or old connections to past people in order to embrace new. Um, but the death card symbolizes something big is beginning here. Um, so a change, a total revamp of your love relationships. Um, okay, they're asking me to look closer at the card. Um, now, there's lots of lily pads here. Lily pads. 
Now normally you'd see a frog on those lily pads, but I can't see one. Um, frogs are all about good luck. And you've got, I mean, also, they just asked me to look at the park. Okay, yeah, I mean. I don't think that's water. I think that's just shadow. So that's probably not a lily pad. Um, this person may actually, you know, a second date may be in a park. This person may ask you to go for a walk in a park. And I know it's a little bit cold right now, perhaps, or maybe it's not the season to go for a walk in the park. Um, but they may ask you to do that. So um, there's something about lily pads and I don't know what it is. So I'll always be honest and say I can't quite grasp it. So just watch out for lily pads. I mean, there may be an image of a lily pad that may mean something, um, but frogs tend to mean good luck. So um, now the Empress card is how you're feeling at this moment in time or your advice to yourself, which is to build your confidence, is to love you fully and to nurture yourself in a way that is healthy. Uh, build healthier uh, inner narratives to uh, build you know, a healthier version of yourself through exercise, uh, eating habits, sleeping patterns, things like that, so that you can be the best that you can possibly be. Uh, the Empress card also indicates, um, you know, you've been keeping yourself busy, being very productive, perhaps being a little bit creative um, and really focusing on your material prosperity. So you've been working really hard. You've been planting lots of seeds in your life, nurturing them and growing them to turn. So you've been focusing on a lot of other things. Some of you may also be parents and you may be focusing on your children. Um, and some of you may be worried that perhaps, um, you know, uh, having children has got in the way of your dating life or you may feel like um, you know you may meet somebody but then will they accept your children the answer is yes when it comes to love there is no judgment on past journeys okay uh, this person this new person is very open and uh, accepting so if you do have children uh, they absolutely will um, embrace you and everything that comes with you, all your baggage, all your journey, because we all have a story before we meet new love. We all have that story. We'll ha we all have experiences. We all have heartbreaks, separations, um, drama. We have, uh, some of us have got children. So we've all got difficulties and also wonderful moments that we've experienced in life as well. And the right person will accept you for who you are and for the journey, the story that you have that got you to this point. So I just want you to be aware of that. Um, now also the Empress card is um, a card of attraction. So I feel like you are uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading. I feel like this is you um, really being quite magnetic, uh, very attractive. There's something about you, as I said, you, I don't know, there's something, you know when you feel confident and I don't know, there's like a sensual kind of energy where people are attracted to you and they just want to flirt with you. So you're going to notice a lot of people noticing you. So watch out for that over the next four to five weeks. But this person, this new person, as soon as you walk through the door, there's something just emanate, emanating from you that this person, this new person sees and they're attracted to straight away and they come towards you. Okay, so uh, I definitely see you being your wonderful self, allowing your inner light to shine and attracting this new person. Now, remember, I said the 11th house was starred for you. This is the external circumstances and this is the magician. So thoughts becoming things. The magician card is all about the law of attraction. So uh, very important that you are attracting love right now, especially since your protagonist energy is the heart space. Um, the magician card indicates um, that your visions are coming reality. As you can see, this figure here, the magician, two souls are starting to fizz and they're starting to form there. So I feel like things are coming together. Also, if you can see there, I hope you can see, there's two triangles there um, and they've got eyes in there. So I feel you and this new person can visualize a future together. It's almost like both of you um, can remote view and see a future with each other. So um, I do feel like um, the universe is working hard behind the scenes to kind of influence you both to go to this event or this meeting space that they've orchestrated for you so that a relationship can form. As you can, I hope you can see that there's two, um, I feel like you, you and this person are infinitely connected already. I feel um, that there is a connection between you that is drawing you both together. 
and you will instantly feel it when you meet this person there's something different about this person but in particular i would say watch out for them giving you something from the event or the even if you went to a restaurant as i said you know a box of matches from the restaurant or you know i don't know you'll figure it out when it happens uh, now the five of cups is your hopes and fears five of cups is a card of loss it's a card of sadness or feeling left out from the universe, um, you know, a, a feeling of being abandoned or unloved. And the fear here is that you've been along, uh, maybe you've been alone for a long time and you just feel like you don't know how it's going to happen. Well, there is going to be an invitation or some sort of event that you uh, go to. And even if you're like, Baba, there's no events. Nobody's invited me to anything. You may be walking down the street and the universe uh, puts you on a certain like uh, sidewalk and there's a poster of a community event that catches your eye. That's your guides giving you like a little nudge. This would really interest you. You're going to these events or these things for your benefit. And as an extension, the universe is placing somebody there that would be perfect for you in terms of a soulmate. So I want you to be aware of that. Now, what's really interesting about the Five of Cups is because of what's gone on in the past, the sadness, the loss, or feeling unfulfilled, you're not even aware yet that there's two cups, which is a two of cups, right? Uh, about to arrive for you. You're not even aware of it because you're too busy thinking about the difficulties you've had in love. You can't see how love could show up for you. But the five of cups is a reminder. Process all the sadness, release all the things from the past and watch the two of cups appear for you. It's, it's, it's about your focus, to be honest. Um, so I feel that five of cups, um, you know, your hope will return. And I feel like there is a, a loving person who's coming towards you. Uh, they want me to show you the five of cups. I mean, I'm sure you know what the five of cups looks like, but they want me to show you specifically. So I will. Can you please uh, guide me to the five of cups for my beautiful Leo? What do they need to see? Can you please guide me? Okay. Okay. Um, Now, this person, there's something about food with this person. Uh, they're, I think they're a bit of a foodie. Um, so they may even invite you um, to an event later on that requires food tasting. Or maybe they work in catering. Or you don't have to work in catering to be a foodie. Can you please guide? Sorry, you may want to fast forward this part, to be honest, because... They said beginning to middle. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, I mean, I guess that's the, the beginning, but I think that's the end. So I think that's the beginning because normally the beginning. Anyway, I'll, I won't bore you with the details. Um, we've got the five of cups. See this figure? Too busy thinking about all the things that didn't work out in the past. And remember, if an X reaches out, because the five of cups in this position can also mean, because you read both positions, when it's in the uh, hopes and fears, you read the upright and the reversal. And the reversal can also mean that someone returns, okay? Uh, someone who hurt you returns. So just watch out for that. Um, but as you can see, this figure is too busy thinking about the past. So if someone does reach out, and you're really not wanting uh, from the past and you're really not wanting to connect to that person, try to um, control your thoughts, not to sort of revisit the past because there is two cups here, two of cups that you're not even aware of yet is showing up for you. That's love, okay? A loving relationship showing up for you. And the outcome energy here is the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is the start of something that's going to blossom into something very strong, loyal, um, and grounded. It's going to have healthy roots, this new relationship, okay? Um, now, Ace of Pentacles does indicate that it's the start of something um, that both people will invest in or, you know, this new person will invest in a relationship. I mean, as you can see, it's like a rose there and a person is growing out of a rose. So I feel like this is something that's going to blossom into something very romantic, something very loyal. Um, Now, they're also, interestingly enough, they're giving me a song and an image at the same time. So I'll give you the song first. One moment, please. If you're feeling down, 
I just want to make you feel happier, baby. Now you're in my life. I can't get you off my mind. Okay. Um, now this song, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's shown up for a reading before, but I definitely heard it on the radio perhaps a couple of weeks ago. So I definitely know it's quite a song of the now. It's, I can't remember who sings it, to be honest. Um, I just remember hearing it on the radio, but I mean, it may have shown up for a reading, but there's so many songs that pop up for the readings. I can't really remember them all. Um, this one, it's sung by a very, well, it sounds, this masculine energy, but I feel like it's um, a young male who perhaps sings that song. Um, now that song can actually connect to um, you over giving, my beautiful Leo. So just watch out for that. But also if you're feeling down, now you're, what was it? Now you're in my life. I just can't get you off my mind. Yeah, I feel um, once you meet this person, you're going to bowl them over. But that song is important. It can mean that you're going to hear that song in the next four to five weeks, just as you're out and about, maybe in the mall, in the store. Um, maybe it just comes on your play shuffle or perhaps uh, someone is driving down the street and you hear it playing from their car. Listen out for that song. Um, you know, I'm going to take a wild guess at who I feel this song is by. I want to say it's like someone like Harry Styles. Now, I don't really listen to that person's music. I'm sure it's incredible, but I just, I don't really listen to it. But I want to say, because the other day I just put on like a poppy type radio station and it was playing, um, it, no, it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so I want to say it's that. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but I want to say it's that. So, um, and that's not spirit giving it to me. I just want you to be aware. Spirit are giving me the song, but I'm hazarding a guess at the singer. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I will leave that there. But that song is relevant because you may hear it after this reading. It's an indication from your guides to let you know that you are close to meeting somebody new. Okay, so just be aware of that. Also, the image they're showing me is, um, I want to say it's gingerbread tree, a, a gingerbread tree. So someone may be making like cookies in the shape of a uh, a tree but I want to say it's ginger I don't know why but uh, it's got a little bit of icing around the side it is a season to have those things perhaps in the store so I mean but they're showing me that so I mean it could be that you see one of those or you're gifted one of those or you've just bought some or made some of those and it is a symbol for you to look out for that indicates new love is headed your way so that's the lily pads it's the uh, dream catcher um and the uh, or, or dream catcher or spider's web i feel it's or uh there and this biscuit that's in the shape of a tree okay so i'll leave that there but we've got new love coming on in and you meet this person at that event. Uh, i'll go one more just to clarify ace of pentacles anything more you can tell me about this person or anything Ace of Swords, new conversation, meeting of minds. This relationship is a protected relationship. You can see this relationship going somewhere. Um, now, this person or you, there may be a conversation about surgery or some sort of procedure. Okay, so it'll be just a conversation about it. I just want you to be aware of that. Um, so when you get to know this person, they may have said, oh yeah, I just had surgery on my, on my knee. Or, you know, I'm just convalescing over um, having surgery on my hand or something like that. Or they may say, I'm going to have surgery on my toe, uh, you know, in a couple of weeks time. So there's going to be a conversation about a procedure is what they're showing me. Um, but I mean, Ace of Pentacles and I clarified it, Ace of Swords. This is you talking to somebody new and um, really enjoy this energy. Be open to it. OK, because I feel like you may be a little bit guarded. This person's very chivalrous. They've got manners. <laughs> That's what's coming through on my from my guides. Um, so um, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. They're indicating that this person, um, they're very thoughtful. Okay, they're, they're very thoughtful um, when it comes to love. They're not selfish. I'm just gonna see what else comes out for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Okay, uh, they want one more. Oh, that's obviously it. Okay, so we've got break. 
Okay, uh, that indicates you're letting go of any baggage. You're releasing everything from the past. Interrupted, cut off, separated. Ties have been severed in a situation. Release what does not serve you. So that's already come up in the reading already. Um, and it's number 10, which is Wheel of Fortune Energy, which indicates you're turning the page. You're turning a cycle when it comes to love. Also, we've got Explore, New Territory, Discover. And we've got number 44. Um, so I feel this is very positive energy. Um, you're going to meet somebody new. Uh, when it's 44, it means, you know, add it together equals eight, which is the number of the self. So I feel like you've gone through a lot of personal development and now you're ready to explore new territory when it comes to love. And this person's going to be so romantic. That's maybe, they're going to treat you so well that you're going to be like, hmm, okay. Um, but this is a new love that is very healthy and honest and open. And we've also got mundane, okay? Now that's definitely your sixth house of routine, work, duty, health. I mean, some of you, you know, you may meet this person at the gym, but then you get invited to an event and things start to progress, okay? Um, so it says here, most of us have to take part in the humdrum of life and day-to-day -day tasks can sometimes consume us. Remember that spirituality can be integrated in your everyday, even in the smallest of things, like your morning cup of tea. Reality, ego, routine. Now, it's really important that even when you're super busy, busy doing, paying bills, doing your job, you know, uh, doing all the things, doing life, it's important that you make some time, even if it's 10 minutes, even if it's five minutes, to really just pause and visualize what you want. Manifestation is so important because if you're so busy, you're not manifesting, you know, you're, you're missing an opportunity, especially in the next couple of weeks, really missing an opportunity to magnetize someone into your life. So I just want you to be uh, aware of that. I'm just going to go and get a ticket before we, oh wow. I close my eyes when I pick the trinkets, my beautiful Leo, and of course you can't see that, so you do have to trust me on that, but um, got the ring there. Now, when you put your hand in, in full of metal, you can't distinguish what the metal is, and I've got these new nails that my very wonderful friend gifted to me for my birthday, uh, but you know, I can't get them off. I'll have to go and find time to get them off, um, but I can't feel anything with them either, although they're, they're wonderful. I just can't feel anything or pick anything up, so, um, but... Uh, just to indicate, I, I couldn't possibly pick this ring out on purpose. So this indicates that you have a contract with this person and also that it will lead to a higher level of commitment. Uh, this person is someone that I feel you will go the distance with, maybe even get engaged to, okay? So I definitely see you and this person committing to each other because the ring in the Lenormand uh, deck means commitment. Um, it means marriage, it means bond, it means proposal, partnership, and a promise to each other to love each other um, throughout the journey of life. So I will leave that there. I hope something resonated with you in this reading. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leo. Love and light.